Why did Meghan secretly fly to Los Angeles a month before the wedding? Now it's exposed by Thomas E. Markle, despite Prince Harry skipping out on the Royal Easter Church service for quite some time. There was still much ado about his and Meghan Markle's absence from it. In 2018, it was confirmed that the couple was spending the holiday privately, but that didn't stop speculation about where they might be and what they were doing. Then, thanks to a new report by ABC News, there may be an answer to Markle's whereabouts. Meghan left London before her wedding to fly to Los Angeles within days of the Los Angeles-based photographer meeting with them and taking pictures of Thomas. Meghan then lied about booking Thomas's flight for the wedding. He was also never sent an official invitation. Curiously, a year before that, a Markle family insider revealed to a tabloid where Thomas is living in Mexico in an article that has the same photographer credited as the one who sets him up for the paparazzi shots in the same location. A year later, on March 27, CCTV footage captures Thomas meeting with Jeff Rayner, who convinced him to set up the pictures. It appears later when the story breaks in May that the first set-up picture of Thomas looking up Harry and Meghan at a computer were taken immediately. On March 29, Meghan flew to Los Angeles to allegedly meet with Doria about wedding dress sketches only two days after Thomas met with Raina and a deal was struck and the pictures were taken. Note that Rayner made around US$1,300 from the pictures. So the truth is that Meghan flew out to Los Angeles to meet with Jeff Rayner under the guise of meeting with her mom, and then they planned everything. The story was released shortly before the wedding to cause maximum empathy for her. There's just no way of explaining the close timing of the TMZ leak, it had to have been her. There's no way that a royal wedding dress should still be in sketch stages a month beforehand, but also, then why would she need to be there in person versus over Skype, FaceTime, etc. It was set up on April 4th. Amitsuko B gives an interview to Good Morning America. Notice how he talks about arrangements being made to fly Doria out. Notice how he talks about how Jessica has been instrumental in planning every detail of the wedding. Notice who he doesn't mention at all, Thomas Markle. Very odd, especially considering the scandal hadn't broken for another month, conveniently right before the wedding. Moreover, Thomas Jr.'s letter claims that his father never received the official formal wedding invitation. Meg lied to Harry, claiming that she's booked and paid for a first-class ticket for her father to leave Mexico and fly to London as soon as possible on Air New Zealand. He was literally in the hospital when Harry sent him that horrible text. It also proved in court that Meg lied in a letter that Thomas ignored. There were copious amounts of texts proving otherwise. Even in spare, Harry confirms Charles the palace, etc., were urging him to talk to Meghan, to go in person to support him and sort it out. Meg refuses to go, and Harry sums it up as they didn't understand why not. During a famous interview with Oprah, Meghan opened up about her relationship with her father for the first time since her wedding. She confirmed to Oprah that she'd felt betrayed by her father lying to her about speaking to the press and revealed that becoming a mother had made her view the situation in another light. Thomas also said more Meg what a witch, ungrateful daughter, he spent all he had on her from schooling where she never graduated because she assaulted two girls with superglue on their fake eyelashes, she was then kicked out from Western until the two girls could graduate without being in fear of her. Her dad also paid hundreds of thousands to settle out of court to protect her.